Hi, teacher. Byron, how are you? I'm good. I'm so tired, teacher. How about you? <laughs> Why are you tired? Me too, I'm tired. <laughs> yes. How are you? Why? What happened? What happened today? How was your day? Mm, I'm fine, but my day was was funny. <laughs> Hello, Victor. Wait, wait, your day was funny? Yes. Why? Oh, mm, because, uh, como digo, siempre hay algo que hacer <laughs> y reír, no sé. Okay, good. But do you understand the difference between funny and fun? No, teacher. What is? Okay. Fun is go to the beach. Oh, fun is, yes. Mm -hmm. Funny is Jim Carrey. Okay. Eugenio funny, Derbez. funny is a person. Funny, yes. Funny, funny is an adjective. Okay. Yeah, it describes a person. It describes a movie. It describes a situation. But fun okay. describes an event. Uh, I'm going to write this. <laughs> Yeah, no problem, no problem. Thanks, teacher. Hello. No problem. Hi, Josue. Hi, I'm sorry. Hi, Juan. How are you? Okay, maybe we have a connection, Juan. Hi, teacher. Hello, Juan. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. All right, you? I'm okay, thank you. How was your day today? I'm very good. No, no, I, I, I didn't have? I didn't have problem. Okay, um, Juan, you told me you work in a car shop, correct? In Santa Elena? Yes, I. Yes, I did. I, Are you I, a. What do you do? Are you um, a technician, a mechanic? What do you do? I work. I do. The interesado de pintura. Oh, okay. I paint. Yes. I'm a painter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. That's that's a really good ability. I fix. I fix. Golpes. Yeah. Um, that would be the hardware. Fix. Yo pensaba que decía fix. Yeah, you can fix or repair. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, hey, nice. That's 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 a very interesting. I like that. Nice, Brenda. How are you? Fine, teacher. Fine, and you? I am okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Are you okay? Anything new? No, anything new. Normal day. Another day, another dollar. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <And both. laughs> yeah. That is an expression like, hey, how are you? Oh, nothing. Another day, another dollar. That's an expression. <laughs> okay. All right. Yesenia. Hi, teacher. Hi, Yesenia. How are you? How is your mother? Uh, I, but today, um, doctor said me, Doctor told doctor me that told me? my uh -huh, doctor told me uh, my mother is better than yesterday. Wow, I'm happy for that. Yes, I hope I will go tomorrow and I will ask 
uh, what is the uh, check? The, the status. Ah, the status, and tomorrow I will see you at night. Okay, very good. I'm happy to hear that. That's good. Okay, thank you. All right. So, Victor, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Thanks. And you, teacher? I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay, too. Thank you. I'm happy because it's not very hot today. Yeah. All right. I, I like uh, weather cold. But you know what? Um, really, it's not cold in this moment. Yeah. Because what what do you think the 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 weather is right now? I was raining my house. I don't know. In Victor's house is is what's raining. Okay, but remember, cold is frío. If frío is like like a trifinio. Fresco, <laughs> por decir un estado yeah, medio. That, that would be cool. It's cool. It's cool. Cool. Oh, okay. How's the weather right now? It's cool. Cool is, is not cold. Cold, cold, cold. It's, it's cool. Cool. So, or frillito. You can say it's chilly. Where I live, uh, where I live, there is a little. Uh, how do you say, uh, bosque? Or, um, more tree. Forest. Mucho árbol. Yeah, yeah, there is a yeah forest, like a little forest. A, a little forest. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Okay, where I live, there is a little forest. And... Como digo, una distancia de unos 100 metros de mi casa. About 100 meters, 100 meters. from my house. About 100 meters from my house. About... Uh, 100 meters from my house. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's, okay, do you see here I put chili? What is chili, teacher? Chili is maybe five in the morning. Chili, five in the morning. Ah, oh, when the sun is not, is that sun right? No, but you know that sensation at five in the morning, like uh, it's chilly. 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 Yeah. Victor, where you live, there's a forest. Where do you live? In Nilopango, in near Lake. Ilopango Lake. Really? Yes. That's cool. Near near a pool. Uh, five, uh, five, um, five minutes in the lake Ilopango. Wow. Five minutes walking? Uh, no teacher. Uh, a car. <coughs> oh, okay. But still it's very close. Or 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 bus. Uh, okay. walking. Um, 20, 30 minutes. ¿Cómo se dice quizás? Maybe. Yeah, maybe um, 30 minutes. Okay, wow, nice. Yes, uh, my, uh, how do you say colonia or residencial? Or my neighborhood. My neighborhood is downtown the the municipio in el centro del municipio okay um village no no village a city it would be city sí. eh, the 
city in my neighbor is our county la, la, la colonia queda como un poquito como en una colina que da al bosque que después sigue el lago <laughs> okay it's at the mountain top eh. on the mountain wow that's cool you have you have the forest and the lake and the lake yes um, it has a beautiful sign yes Miren, esa es una cosa feo en el español salvadoreño, porque cada país tiene diferente. Por ejemplo, está vecindario, colonia, urbanización, ¿qué más? Champerillo. Caserío. <risa> ah, y en conclusión, todo eso es neighborhood. Es... Neighborhood, ok. Aquí lo escribí, neighborhood. Pero sí, no, 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 ¿qué es la diferencia de vecindario y colonia? Um, vecindario, uh, colonia. In this country, uh, vecindario is when um, I imagine for me it's the same things because it, it's the house. But uh, I can see that people make the difference when the uh, when the house is um, second floor or is the different mixes the wall or the lodo, how do you say lodo? Mud. O, o cuando las casas son como de bloque, de segunda planta, le dicen residencial, pero cuando son casas de, 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 de una planta, otra. Ajá, le dicen este caserío. Ya, yeah, es extraño. Porque, o porque viven así cerca de, lo, de, de árboles y todo lo que todos queremos vivir cerca de árboles. Yeah. But in yeah. conclusion, in English, it's neighborhood. Neighborhood, yeah. Y viene the neighbor de vecino. Mm -hmm. So my neighborhood is where I live and I have neighbors. Mm. All right. Thank you. Kike Escobar, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm, I'm okay, too. Thank you. How was your day today? <laughs> uh, my tooth hurt. It was a good day. Good day. Yeah, today is Tuesday. Yes. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Oh, man. Did I tell you that, yes, uh, on the weekend I went to a dollar store and they have Christmas trees? Sorry? No, 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 forget it. No, it's okay. Um, hi, Laura, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. <laughs> how was your temperature today? Um, I'm good. Um, 36. Point one. Okay, <laughs> when it when it's bad, thirty seven. No. Thirty seven point three is high temperature. Uh, more thirty eight. It's uh, fever. So forty, you are bad. For uh, forty, maybe have a other consequence for have a fever so high. I don't know. I think it, this, the, the person start a convulsional. I don't know how to say that. Yeah, to convulse. When, uh, convulse, yes. One have a, a fever so high. You know, one time, one time I was in Burger King in La Manuel Enrique Rajons in Salvador. And outside the Burger King, there was a, a man and he was having a, he was having an epileptic attack. Really? In that, yes, in, in, in the street. And 
and and he was it was very scary so i i remember i called the police and i called 911 su llamada en este momento no puede ser en la sala I called 911. In estos momentos, todos están ocupados. In este moment, for 30 minutes, for 30 minutes, I called 911. No answer. So, in 30 minutes, many people in the street watching the man having epileptic, the epileptic attack, and the police pass. But the police was passing, and everybody, hey, police, police, police. And then the police comes. What happened? Look, this man is having an epileptic attack. And, oh, yeah, for, for maybe one hour. Oh, okay. And the police says, somos de turismo. Ahorita vamos a llamar a otra. <laughs> So then the police tuvo que llamar a otra policía. And then the other police. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, so then the stupid police, they call the police, and then the other police comes. What happened? No le dijeron. No, what happened? This man is having an epileptic attack. Sí, pero venimos en moto. ¿Y cómo lo llevamos? Like, I was, oh my God, are you serious? Only happened in El Salvador. Yeah, the, po yeah, the police telling me, <laughs> but we're motorcycle, you don't know you. So then the police, they call the ambulance. <laughs> so maybe one hour, two hours later, the ambulance takes them. But I remember, I, now that you mentioned attack, I remember that man and the police. Maybe. I think, I think maybe it is important to to think the the ad um, the in the school the the young the um, teenager learn to how to proceed and or or give a I don't have to say the Primeros auxilios. First aid. First aid. Okay. Because in this case, I think when the person have an epileptic attack, it is important to put something in her or, in her or mouth. his mouth. Yes, because they can they can cool cut their toe when they start the epileptic. I don't know. Yes, yes, it was. Yes, it's true. It's, but yeah, but only in El Salvador, the police is like that. Yes. But that's meaning first aid. First aid. Aid. First aid is very important. Well, Car uh, Laura, can you explain to Yesenia what is first aid in English? Okay, I will try. Uh, is when someone, for example, your family have a, a, a health problem, Problem, for example, could her um, hand or have a, 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 or you are in the beach, for example, with your, your I don't know if you have a kid and he's in, or her is inside the, the beach and in, I don't know how to say, se ahoga, start to se ahoga. Uh, drown. Drown, okay. And you take out the beach and start to give a, a respiration, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> and something is learned to do the is is, is uh, help the people in the oh. in the moment when have a an accident but simple accident okay no like a, no, 
Ay. No, you are be a, a doctor, no, but... Como is... los primeros auxilios. Exactly. That's... Oh. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Le mató la inspiración a Laura. Ah, I'm sorry. But I want sorry. To, to say that. Yeah, but she, she got it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, very good. No, but you know, that that's something very good. Así se practica. Apliquen que debe explicar algo. Es bien difícil. Porque yes. uno tiene, lo tiene todo así y a la hora de soltarlo, lo suelta por palabras. So, um, es una muy buena forma de, de, de practicar inglés, saben, de explicar algo. Por ejemplo, what is first aid kits? Primero, auxilios. No, but explain that. Uh, okay, it's um, when you need... Medical attention, an emergency. You know, like, and people understand, oh, okay. Imagine you're in a restaurant and you have an attack. Uh, first aid is medical, um, kitty, medical. Aid. Assistance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, people, we're going to watch a video. Okay. And I want you to pay attention to this. Listen to who had a boring time. But, well, first of all, instructions. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. So keyword here is last night. Check the correct information about each person. Okay. Instrucciones. Escucha John y Laura describir lo que hicieron anoche. Marquen información correcta sobre cada persona. So, pon atención, who had a boring time? Do you understand boring time? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, who had a good time? Yes. Who met an old friend? Yes. Yes. Who got home late? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right, so let me. Hold on, please. Come on, play, play. Teacher, you told yesterday we are uh, practice about music. Yes, but that would be maybe Thursday. Thursday, ah, okay. How come this doesn't get play? Hold on, let me see. Okay, thank you for your patience. Hold on. Is your internet bad today? Yes, teacher. Yes, the internet is bad. Maybe it's raining. Okay, I think, okay. Yes. I, my internet has been bad all day. Okay, we did this, yes. The internet doesn't work very well. Yes, it doesn't. It's, it's, I don't know what's wrong with it today. Let me see. And how much is your speed? I have 10 megabytes and it's still bad. We 
Which company do you have? Claro. Okay. Because I have a Tigo and I don't have a problem. But you know Sorry. why? Do you know why, Laura? Okay. In La Bello, San, in La Bello San Juan, when you go into La Bello San Juan, you have you been to La Bello San Juan? Yes. Okay, when you, right before you go down, you see a big uh, uh, antennas, satellites of Tigo. Mm -hmm. But no sé, the no sé si internet don't Tigo use people? the antenna. The internet resident internet, or internet resident, I don't know, mm -hmm. don't use antenna. You use a coaxial. It's a combination, the fiber and coaxial. Yes, but where do you receive that internet from? The internet is from US coming. Um, it's very, oh, really? <laughs> it's very to explain, but I know oh, okay. I, I was working in the design to, to read HFC, read. HFSA. Oh, really? Yeah. So the satellites do not send the information? No. No. For, for mobile. For internet residential, exactly. For oh, mobile okay. is the antenna. Yes, or exactly. TV, but with the. The DH. Yeah. Satellite. So, so then the Tigo no. internet is better than Claro? It depends. Depends where do you live? Yes, yes. For sure. Because they both have a, a lot of a customer. So have a more customer that they, they can give a service, I think. And so it depends on the, the area where you live, I think. Uh, Listening. I hear. What did you do last night? Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Part A. Wait, wait. Listen okay. to John and Laura. Stop. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I hear someone that I hear many people that they are uh, work. They are working with uh, Tigo and Claro, but they said that Tigo is Tigo doesn't have problem when you are working two or three lactose and in another company, they always have a problem. They always call for the company that they can fix uh, their cajita, no sé. The box. The box, ah, the box. In my case, I have Tigo, but I have never had a problem. Claro. Mm -hmm. And I have never had problem. Oh, okay, that's good, oh, okay. I had Claro and I finished the contract because they don't have a good service here. Oh, good. But uh, Tio should, me, should be paying me <laughs> for a <Yes>. mistake. <laughs> um, I don't like my Claro Wi Fi. Uh, direct is good, Wi Fi is bad. Hmm. Okay, okay, class. Now, um, I think the audio is working now. So please listen. Tell me if you can't listen. Okay. What did you do last uh, night? Oh. Did you hear that? Yes. Okay. Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. 
We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh my, okay, did you hear that? Yes. 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 Man, John is a loser. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Imagine he went to his boss's house to talk about sports and watch sports and it was boring. Oh my God. That's my dream. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Okay, um, let me see, let me see. Byron, who had a boring time? John Fisher. Pobre Byron, siempre está lloviendo. Yes, it's it. <laughs> rain. Yes. Yes, it's raining here. Okay, oh, no problem. Uh, what is number one, Byron? Who had a boring time? Sorry, teacher. Could you repeat? I can hear you. Okay. Um, what is number one? Who had a boring time? John had a boring time. Sorry, teacher, I don't understand the question. Okay, who had a boring time? Uh, I think John, teacher. John. Okay, good. Yes, it's John, but I need you to answer complete. John had a boring time. Okay, John had a boring time. Very good. Thank you. Adriana, Fisher. yes. Sorry, it's, it's my connection is bad. It's really bad. I No, I, I understand. No problem, Byron. Okay. Uh, Adriana, who had a good time? Hi, teacher. Hi, Adriana. Adriana, who had a good time? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Who? Question number two. Who had a good time? Um, no, no lo entiendo. Who had a good time? Question number one was, who had a boring time? The only difference is boring to good. Who had a good time? No, sorry, teacher, no. ¿Qué no entiende? Es que muy ingresando ahorita. Pero, pero... Yes. ¿Qué no entiende? ¿Que who, el had, boring, or time? Maybe look, don't look video. Oh, no, yo el video, Adriana. No. Okay, es que se, pero, diga, I'm sorry. <laughs> es que, es, Yo voy ingresando a la clase. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay, thank you. Okay, um, Brenda, who had, okay, uh, it's okay, Adriana, estamos en el audio, estamos en el audio. Brenda, okay. who, who had a boring time? Uh, she, I don't remember her name. John or Laura? Laura. Okay, so who had a boring time? Laura have a boring time. Laura had. <laughs> Laura had a boring time. Good. Okay, question number three. Who met an old friend, Marcela? 
Met. Laura met uh, uh, old friends. Her old friends. Good, thank you. Number four, who got home late? Carla. Maybe John. John what? Uh, can you repeat the, the answer, please? The, the question. Who got uh, home late? Home late. Uh, John... Uh, home late. John got home late. John got home late. Very good. Thank you. Um, aquí es donde yo les dije una vez, deberían de practicar mucho las respuestas completas. Porque casi todos entendieron bien la pregunta porque me respondían rápido, pero con una palabra y esa palabra era el nombre. Cualquier pregunta me decían inmediatamente, John, Laura, John. Laura, pero les costaba decir el resto. Algunos, ¿verdad? Y, y entiendo, o sea, pero porque se acuerdan, una vez creo que les dije, lastimosamente nosotros en español acostumbramos mucho a responder o a hablar con una palabra. Entonces, el inglés no. Procuren siempre decir todo completo para practicar. Se acuerdan, una vez yo les dije, los, los lunes, Hey, ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué hicieron el fin de semana? Y es bien normal que alguien de nosotros salvadoreños contestemos la casa. Sí, pero es que a veces contestamos así. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estuvo tu fin de semana? Tranquilo. Pinté. Pupusas. ¿Me entiendes? Y nosotros entendemos, ok, me puse a pintar o con mis pupusas o tranquilo, no hice nada, me quedé. Pero eh, lo que realmente uno anda buscando es, ¿qué hiciste? Ah, no hice nada, lo pasé bien tranquilo. Con mis pupusas, con mi familia, pinté mi cuarto, pinté mi carro. ya yes. Voy a hacer unas preguntas a ustedes, una en pasado y, y la otra persona me va a decir la misma respuesta. Uh, Luis Lemos, are you there? Yes. Luis, what did you eat for lunch today? I lunch today is the uh, soap. The I eat soap. The rest beef. Almost. I, uh, how do you say the rest? Beef. Beef. Beef soup. I soup. I eat soup. Eat. Okay, Luis, repeat after me. I. I. Ate. Ate. Beef soup. Beef soup. Be, look, I, I put it in the in the in the chat. Beef. 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 I eat beef so. Look in the chat, please. ¿Qué dice ahí? Beep, beep, beep. No estoy beep, en, beep, ningún, beep. en ninguna estoy pronunciando P. Yo estoy viendo que me están mencionando así. Beeps. Beef. Exactly, beef. Beef. Res es eso, que aquí se lo voy a escribir, look. Beef. Se pronuncia. Beef. Vieron ahí? Beef. Beef. Yes. So, Luis, please tell me. I ate beef soup. I ate beef soup. Very good. For lunch today. For lunch today. 
Very good. Now answer complete. Repeat one more time, please. I eat beef so for long today. I ate. It's past, remember. I ate. I ate beef so for long today. Good. Yesenia, what did Luis eat for lunch today? Mm, Luis ate Luis ate beef soup for lunch today. Very good. Teacher, y no se puede decir drunk, porque como tomó sopa. Fíjese que esa es una gran pregunta si uno come o toma sopa, porque hace los dos. ¿Y cuál sería el más indicado? Hey. Es lo que le digo, o sea, Ajá. hay sopas que se beben y se comen también, porque <risa> sopa ramen, bueno, por ejemplo. No, pero lleva líquido, pues sí, es eight. Uh -huh. Yes. Sí, yo, 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 o sea, es, está bien decir I ate soup. Comí sopa. Eh, Yesenia. Uh -huh. Me aflige. <ríe> no, es que. No, pero pregunte, pregunte. What time did you take a shower today? Uh, I took my shower at six in the morning. Really? At six in the morning? Wow. Yeah. Nice. I oh. always take I always take my shower in the morning before 9 a.m. Oh, okay. So Helen, what time did Yesenia take a shower today? And she took a shower at I don't remember the hour she said. Seven. Six. At seven. Ah, six. <gasps> Sorry, <laughs> at six a.m. <laughs> today. <laughs> okay, at six a.m. today. Very good, thank yes. you. Helen. Yes. What did you do on the weekend? I don't understand, teacher. Okay, um, what, sure, no problem, thank you. What okay. did you do on the weekend? Did you, ah, did I do? Um, I did working in the morning. Okay, I need one verb. Week. So I worked in the weekend. I, ah, okay. I work. In the weekend. Work, I work. Miren, eh, eh, ese es un problema muy común, lo que acaba de pasar ahorita. Uh -huh. eh, y le voy a explicar por qué. Igual es en español. Si uno, es una pregunta directa, porque si yo le digo, ¿qué comió hoy? Hoy yo comí pollo. ¿Qué bebió en el almuerzo? Yo bebí soda. ¿Ya? Yes. Pero y cuando viene el verbo hacer, ¿qué hizo ayer? Ahí puede ir cualquier verbo, pero no vamos a responder, yo hice, fui a la playa. ¿Me entiendes? Ahí es donde, porque ahí es el verbo hacer, pero ahí queda en general, ¿qué hizo? Ese, ese verbo queda abierto. ¿Qué hizo, ajá, ¿qué hizo ayer? Ah, ayer fui a, al súper. Entonces, por ejemplo, what did you do yesterday? No necesariamente me va a responder con do. I, I, I went mm -hmm. to the supermarket. Pero no vamos a poner I did go to the supermarket. Okay? Okay, so, teacher. All right. So one more time. So what did, you, what did you do on the weekend? Well, in the Saturday, I work. I work. 
I, okay, I worked. Very yeah. good. I, I work. <laughs> I work in the morning and at the evening I the, I rest. Okay. I don't know. I rest. Okay, good. And, good. Okay, and the um, sun, the Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't remember how do you say lavar. I wash. Yeah. I wash, I wash my, wash the, my ropa. <laughs> I wash my clothes. My clothes. Did you hand wash or machine wash? Mm, middle. The two? Uh, yes, the two. Okay, very good, thank you. So Adriana, okay. what did Helen do Saturday morning? Repeat for what did Helen do Saturday morning? Um, she she's washed the clothes. No, that was Sunday. Le voy a dar una pista. Trabajó. Saturday morning. What did Helen do Saturday morning. Um, she she worked. Good. She worked Saturday morning. Saturday morning. <laughs> Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Monday. Morning. Morning, good. Can you please repeat? She worked Saturday morning. She worked Saturday morning. Very good, thank you. Adriana, what did you eat for dinner tonight? Uh, um, pupusas. Complete, please. Um, I dinner pupusas. I ate. I ate. Pupusas. Pupusas. For dinner. For dinner. Okay, please repeat. I ate pupusas for dinner. I ate pupusas for dinner. Good. Thank you. Kike, what did Adriana do for dinner? I'm sorry, what did Adriana eat for dinner tonight? She ate uh, pupusas for dinner. Tonight. Tonight. Okay, good. Nice. Kike, where did you study high school? Uh, I studied high school in Santa Ana. All right, very good. Laura, where did Kike study high school? He studied high school in Santa Ana. Good. Laura, where did you study university? I study, studied university in Francisco Gavidia. Francisco Gavidia, good. So, Carla, where did she study, where did Laura study university? Laura, Laura study in Universidad Francisco I'm sorry, I think we have a bad connection. Maybe it's you or me. Can you hear me, class? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay, Carla, I think we have a bad connection. And now it's really raining, it's hard. 
Um, but it's okay. Let me see. Marcela, where did Laura study university? I forgot the name. Sorry. Francisco. Uh, uh, she has studied university at Francisco Gavidia. And Francisco Gavidia. Good. Okay. Very good. Marcela, how are you? I'm really fine. Marcela, did you watch the movie The Notebook? Yeah, it's a love movie. Or it's a, a it's movie a, about love. It's a romantic movie. Ah, really? Yeah, you don't say it's a, it's a, it's a love movie. It's the it's category, a it's a romantic movie. Did but you it's, watch? It's okay to say a movie about love? Or? Yes. Yes, okay. but that's similar to saying it's an action movie or it's a movie about war. Ah, okay. Okay, so um, did you watch The Notebook? Yeah, I watched it. All right, very good. A quien no le he preguntado? Claudia Sanchez, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello, did Marcela watch the movie The Notebook? Ay, no, no le escuché a Marcela muy bien. Yes. Any dijo, question? Ella dijo yes. So, did Marcela watch the movie The Notebook? Mm -hmm. She, she. Dijo yes. She, she said yes. Mm -hmm. pero, mire, ok, good. Claudia, pero no, no se complique porque no le estoy preguntando qué dijo ella si vio la película. Solo es, ¿vio ella la película de Notebook? Entonces la respuesta sería... Yes, she did. Yes, she, she did. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, ok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, porque ya cuando si yo le pregunto, what did she say about the notebook? Ahí sería, oh, she said that she, y empieza más larga la, la oración. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's good. Si lo podemos hacer, hagámoslo. Pero si no yes. pueden, it's okay. Por eso esto se llama pasado simple. ¿Se acuerdan? Creo que les dije ayer también. Simple. No nos compliquemos mucho. Pregunta simple o respuesta simple. Okay. All right, cool. Claudia. Uh -huh. uh, Claudia, where did you get married? I, I am, I am. You're single. Married. I am single. No, but imagine, imagine. <laughs> ah, okay. I got married in Dubai or algo. I I get married in Cancun. In Cancun, wow. Good. So I got married in Cancun. Repeat. I got married in Cancun. Good. So Jocelyn, where did Claudia get married? She married in Cancun. She got married in Cancun. She got married in Cancun. Very good. Laura, please ask me a question. In simple past. Mm, okay. Where? Now let me see. Did you did you visit? Uh, I know. Let me see. Where did you study the high school? 
Um, I studied high school in California. Very good, thank you. Brenda, ask me a question and passed. Wow. Donde está lloviendo, sí? In my house. Wow. Maybe you heard the noise, a oh, big yeah. noise for my, my floor is the lamina. Okay. Yeah, maybe it sounds very hard. This that you heard. Yeah. It, it, yes, it, it sounds very very hard. Como que son piedras las que caen. Yes, I feel it. It's okay. It's cool. Nice, Brenda. Yes, teacher. Ask me, ask me a simple past question, please. Okay. Um. Mm. Did you work very hard last week? No. Oh, yes, I worked very hard last week. Okay. All right, cool, thank you. Carla, can you ask me a simple past question, please? Uh, teacher, where did you go uh, the, last, the last summer? I went I went to the volcano last summer. Good, nice. Um, Kike, can you ask me a question, please, in simple past? Helen, can you ask me a question in simple past? Yes. Mm, did you sing? Uh, did you sing in uh, anywhere? Please. I don't know. I don't understand your question. Um. <laughs> uh, yes. Creo que lo dije mal. Uh, did you sing? O sea, si usted canta o ha cantado en algún lugar. Oh, no, es que hay una gran diferencia si usted canta y usted ha cantado. Son dos ah. tiempos bien diferentes. Ahorita estamos haciendo el presente, el pasado simple. Um, Teacher. Yes. ¿Cuál, cuál sería uh, la mejor question. forma? To you. Oh, estamos haciendo ahorita. Did you, did you, I'm sorry. Yes, Kiki, I'm sorry. Uh, when did you celebrate your birthday? Okay, good. I celebrated my birthday November 2. Okay. So, Helen, ask me a question, okay. please. The other question. Um, um, I don't know. Um, yep. I did you? No sé si hacer bien esto. Eh, comió, qué comió, a dónde fue, qué compró, qué vio, dónde bailó. Simple past. Todo, yeah. Dónde estudió. Uh -huh. Iba a preguntarle si, a qué hora se levantó hoy en la mañana. Oh, ok, good, good, good. good. Entonces sería, yeah. what, Did what? you? Uh -huh. Ah, what time? Exactly. What time did you? Uh, what, time, what time did you get up? Today in the morning. morning. Today in the morning. Okay. Very good. Um, get up or wake up? Mm, get up. Okay, I got up today in the morning at 6, 5.30, no, 6. Uh, okay. okay, remember, get up okay. is levantar. Wake up is when you open your Despertar. eyes. 
Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I woke up at 5.30 in the morning and I got up at 6. Me too. Oh, okay. Yes, it's, it's, it's not good. <laughs> Okay, class, thank you very much. You have a very good night and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay, okay, good night. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye.